I've been waiting for this for a very long time. And so have you. You guys have been begging us to do this. Today we're going to find out which truck is quicker. Is it going to be the brand new 2019 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro? Or is it the brand new Nissan Titan Pro 4X? But that's not all we're going to do. We're also going to find out which truck can flex a little bit more. So strong. And this is part of our gold winch testing for 2019. And that's coming up right now. I know some of you might say that it's not fair to have a dual exhaust system for sound, but this is the way the truck comes from the factory. TRD Pro has TRD exhaust. Sports. And by the way, you guys can mention our code TFL to get a 10% discount on track time or dirt time at a motocross track. It's a clean start. I got him off the line. Well, the Titan hooked up really well. What? And I'm keeping him at bay. <laughs> no! Woo. You know, I think I think gearing is really this truck's strong suit huh. because I was able to get you off the line. I think it was a clean start, and I was just able to maintain that distance. I didn't really pull away. I thought you started to pull away just a hair. Oh yeah, I just did start to pull away, huh? <laughs> well, you know what? Let's let's try to make this as even as possible. Let's switch drivers. Okay, sounds oh. good idea. Okay, drag racing is fun, but before we do the second drag race, how about we figure out the flex? I, I, I just can't get enough of that. Yeah, we're gonna use this ramp and do an RTI test. Correct, we're gonna measure suspension travel, Tundra versus Nissan. Nissan is the current leader at 418.5 points, and the Tundra is the challenger in this case. Yeah, how do you explain the points? Here's how this test works, we're gonna drive in this case, the driver's side of the truck onto the ramp. This is a standard 20 degree ramp, and we're gonna do a calculation. First, we're gonna measure the wheelbase of the truck, which we do, exactly the travel distance of the truck up the ramp without lifting a tire. Then we divide the two numbers, multiply by a thousand, booyah, we have our score. But Nathan, you are the official judge. Adjudicator. But hold on, you're missing something. Wait right there. Oh, are you serious? Okay, so first I have a lap coat for you. Are you excited? Yeah! But second of all, I also have a, a perfect angle because we need to measure exactly where the tire, the center of the tire is on the ramp. That sounds terrific. Okay, so how are we going to do this on the ramp? Show everybody how that's going to angle. So when a truck comes up, um, wherever the center of the tire is here. Like the center cap. Right, we're gonna m make a mark and measure. As always, big thanks to our friends at John's 4x4 here in Boulder, Colorado. Not only are they the 4x4 experts, but they also service any kind of vehicle right here. Check them out using the link below. Up the ramp until the driver's 
driver's side rear tire is just comes off the ground. That one. Board. Board. Okay, I'm, I'm trying. Hold on. Wow, this, this truck is... Hair to your left. Yeah, more. This truck is actually okay. has some... Okay, 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 you're on it. All right, are we really off the ground? Can you yeah. test it? So the test is being able to pass a piece of paper basically underneath there just to show that it's just off the ground. And in this Toyota's case, yep, it's just off the ground. Ta -da. While Nathan is measuring, let's talk about crawl ratios because we're using four low. And we the way we calculate crawl ratio is the first gear ratio times rear differential times the transfer case low range. And when you consider the 5.7 liter V8 and the six speed here in the Tundra, when you multiply first gear times the crawl the low range times the rear diff, 37.8 exactly is the Tundra. The Titan is 38.989. So the Titan has a slight advantage on the crawl ratio as well, is when you consider all the gears. Many years ago, Andre and I went to a Toyota Tacoma press event. It's the baby brother, of course, of the Tundra. And while we were at the event, Toyota engineers told us that having a C-channel frame, at least in this area, helps with articulation. Now, this does have a C-channel frame over here, at least. And I gotta tell you, the articulation's pretty good. I guess if you mark, if you make the perfect mark. It's a pretty good mark. Is it perfect? Yeah, it's got two little dots in it to show that it's for today. <laughs> okay, so then well, I'll back down and we'll measure the exact distance. Yeah, that's what I figured you'd do. All right, so here, you, you hold this. Now we're gonna measure exactly from the ground. This is a 20 degree ramp, standard ramp. Uh, how are you doing there? Are you done? Are you? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm good right here. We are at 63 and three quarters. 63 and three quarters divided by the wheelbase of the Tundra, which is 145.7 inches times 1,000 for the RTI score of 437.5. Dude, the Tundra outflexed every truck we've tested this year. The Titan was the leader before this at 418 and a half, 437 and a half in the Tundra, bam! Well, maybe it has something to do with the fact that it has the TRD suspension system. Well, it must because it was really good. Impressive. But under the hood here, obviously, it's a 5.7 liter V8, 381 horsepower, 401 pound-feet of torque, and well, this is a 5.6 liter V8, which I happen to love, by the way. And it puts out 390 horsepower and 394 pound-feet of torque. And it's hooked up to a seven-speed automatic transmission. The Titan always surprises. Even when we tested it against other trucks like the Ford and the Chevy and the GMC and the Ram, the Titan just wants to run. I do like the fact that there's padding where my elbow goes on the door. I hate it when they don't do that. All right. I think I had an easier time taking off. Uh-huh, almost exactly the same result. And then the Titan kind of just out accelerates. It's an unexpected it's result, but it's fairly consistent. So it was a good start, right? Yeah, it was a good start. 
The Titan is much snappier off the line. I think it just kind of jumps off. It of just it. jumps. When I let go of my brake and you were already moving. Remarkably close these trucks are. <laughs> yes, Yoda. <they> are. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true, but you know what? It's not much of a surprise either. I mean, the oldest truck versus the newest truck. The newest truck is just slightly quicker at our elevation. Not a big surprise. But hey, the Titan is about 53,000. Yeah. The Tundra is about 51. I mean, they're so closely matched. Yeah, but there's a big problem with the Tundra. What? No heated seats. But sunroof, dude, the Titan doesn't come with one. Yeah, it really makes a big difference today. <laughs> Alright guys, go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and real world reviews.